Hello friends, welcome back to the Craft Castle. So the other day I showed you how to make this sublimation tumbler and when I got done, the very back of it has this seam and holy cow, I do not like this seam. Maybe other people wouldn't mind, but I am such a stickler when it comes to the seams and doing like a full wrap cup. So I have figured out a way to get you a tumbler that has no seam on it. Look at how seamless this is. This is so much better than this line, right? Okay, so we're gonna go to the computer and I'm gonna show you how to go from this to this in a matter of minutes. Okay, so outside of the name being different, this is the design that we were left with at the, er, the original video. When you go and press that, what's gonna happen is, is you're gonna have this strong line on the back. So I redesigned it to where you could have a seamless background like the one I've already shown you. Okay, so what you're going to do is, and it's kind of the same um, technique that I have shown you with like your glass tumblers and how to make sure that they're seamless here. So it's kind of the same technique. So I move this over and all I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna take our background and I'm gonna duplicate it, so Command D. Now, this would be right here, right? And when it wraps around, this is going to be on the other side. So what happens is, is this is gonna meet up with this and you're left with that, right? Or what we can do is, is we can now turn this 180 degrees. So we'll just do 180 right here. And we're gonna line these two up. We're gonna do bottoms to bottoms, edge to edge. So when you have it essentially close enough, we're just going to select both those two backgrounds and we're gonna align it to the center, making sure that it's all good and center. Okay, and then we'll zoom out. So then what you wanna do is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna flatten it. Okay, now this is way too big, right? Our original size was eight by nine and a half inches tall. So now it's way too big. So we're just gonna go ahead and resize this. So we're gonna do eight inches wide by 9.5 inches tall. And then we're gonna arrange this to the back. So now what happens is, is if you take the, take the very backer of this and you duplicate it and you take this and you bring it down here, what's gonna happen is, is you see how if we put these up too close together, the space or the seam when you put your ends together, flap together, they're gonna be seamless because we just created that seamless look right there. And it's that simple. When I printed this out and then I pressed it, I was like, oh my gosh, there has to be an easier way. And then I started thinking about the whole concept of the vinyl decals and how I get the seamless on the vinyl decals. And I'm like, oh, is it that simple? And it really is, and how long did that take us? Nothing, it was like two strokes of a keyboard, and now we have a seamless background. As long as you've measured that your cup is the exact size as what we created, you are gonna be left with a seamless background, just like the one I did, and that's it. All right, y'all, I sure hope I helped you in a little bit of problem solving for your sublimation tumblers, and I will see you later.